spring has finally sprung. The sun is out. It's going to be at least in the 50s every single day now, hopefully until summer. Um, it snowed two days ago, but I think that is all behind us now. So today I'm going to be cleaning out my greenhouse a little bit and putting a lot of the plants in here that I have kind of had like stored away in my house for the winter. So here she is after an entire buffalo winter and we get super bad winters. The blue paint from these came off, but that's no problem. I can just repaint that. The roof is good. These windows are all good. A little paint came off the door, but that's just cosmetic. And these windows are all good. I think one of my first tasks for spring is I'm gonna paint Julia's greenhouse across there. We had some very scary windstorms this past winter. Usually we don't get that much wind, but for some reason we just had a million windstorms. And I was very nervous for the first few. I literally sat at the living room window and watched my greenhouse to make sure nothing was gonna to happen to it. Um, but yeah, it's super sturdy, didn't budge at all. The only thing that I had to do was add a few more um, bolts to the roof because the plastic on the top kind of flapped a little bit and it caused it to crack in one spot. But that's kind of the only damage caused by weather. The other damage is two of my windows broke, but that's kind of my own fault, um, so I'll show you. Right here, these two, actually three, this one's broken too. These three windows broke and it's because during the windstorm, hold on, let me open the window. During the windstorm, I didn't have this window closed and I had three terracotta pots in here and the windows slammed into the pots and cracked. And I'm so mad because obviously I'm not gonna pay to get this fixed. It was a free window. So I'm gonna have to try to find a window to fit in this space. And the same thing happened over here. And I'm extra mad about this because this literally happened like a week ago. The inside is super good too. This part right here has a tiny little leak and I tried to fix it a few times. So I think I'm going to have to either put another piece of plastic bending over the edge, um, but we can figure that out later. Last week, I installed this pipe up here so that I can hang my plants much easier. And it's been so much more convenient already. A lot of these plants I put in here just a few days ago when it was getting a little bit warmer out. Um, but yeah, today I'm going to load up a bunch of the plants that I've had inside and organize this a little bit and get it ready for summer. Currently 55 outside probably. And this says it's 100 degrees in my greenhouse. And it's not heated whatsoever. That's the power of the sun. So this winter I did a few shows where I planted little cacti and succulents in these vintage little containers. And I have a bunch left over, so I'm just gonna kinda organize them in this little box. All right, next I'm gonna organize this section. These are all my little pebbles and sand and like top dressings for soil and random like wooden stuff. I think it just looks messier. And now it is all exploded into my yard, but has to look worse before it looks better, right? You guys didn't know, I sell propagation stations and I have a bunch made. So I'm gonna kind of just set them all up over here until I sell them because a lot of them I have to stain. But again, this is like one of the driest parts of my greenhouse. So I have to screw that board back in. few hours later, the greenhouse is clean. I cannot wait to bring all of my plants in here. The 
this is pretty much like the best time of year for me. few hours later, I'm almost done cleaning, but I finally brought a bunch of my plants in and it's finally looking all beautiful and green again. Mm -hmm. 